What's up guys? Welcome back to Go Ham Disc Golf. I'm Big John. And uh, this is going to be a quick video, or maybe not that quick, but uh, there's a couple things I want to talk about, and it's just general updates to the channel. Uh, changes I'll be making, nothing really dramatic, um, and addressing some things that, you know, some of the, some of you, some of you viewers out there have been saying in the comments. Um, one really big thing that you guys have been saying is that you want to see my form when I'm actually throwing. You want to see me throw the disc um, instead of just seeing where the disc comes into the basket. Um, I don't know. I, I throw those videos out there because I, I think it's cool. Um, I like to myself. I like to see when a disc almost comes down and almost hits an ace, or you know, has a really nice flight, that kind of stuff. But then I, I you know, I come to realize that maybe it's it's not something I really should be putting out there or not something I should be focusing on. It could be cool to put them out every now and then of, you know, cool landings or, you know, good throws from a different angle, which would, I mean, I think you guys might like that if it's every now and then. But if I'm doing videos that are almost like tutorials where I'm trying to give tips and tricks and that kind of stuff on how to throw these different shots, then you guys are right. I should be showing my actual form um, and going into more detail about that. So, having said that, now you guys know that I've already said I have a crappy camera right now that I'm planning on replacing actually next week. And I don't have a tripod yet, but I'm getting one next week too. Um, between now and then, I, I'm doing a video every day, so between now and then, um, what do you guys think? You think, like, I can put my, my camera on my disc golf bag and set it down and that's what kind of makes it easy for me to get these shots up close to the basket just because my bags right there and you know I can you know edit out all the bad shots which is kind of cheap I know it, it just it, it kind of works a little easier since I don't have a good camera or a tripod yet um, but what I can do is just do the same thing but put my bag and the camera on top of the bag put it behind the tee pad or to the side of the tee pad and that might not be the best angle for right now, but maybe it's a little better than me just showing shots of the basket and the disc coming in and where it lands. So if you think that's something you'd like to see me try uh, up until next week or whenever I end up getting my camera, which I'll, I'll probably order it online, so I'll probably be here a couple days after that. But uh, let me know if, that, if you guys think that would work. Um, one of the things that also going along with that is that in my review videos, I'm going to start uh, putting in shots of me actually throwing the disc that I'm reviewing. Um, and I need a little feedback on this too. Do you guys want me to just do like a, a complete talking review like I've been doing my normal reviews where I, I hold the disc and I show you guys the disc and I talk about it and how it does, what it does for me. And what I can do is up in the corner or somewhere else in here, I can just have like a continuous video of me throwing the disc in different shots, that kind of stuff. Or would you rather me have the video completely nothing but me throwing the disc with my voiceover on top of it, explaining what I think and how I feel about it. So let me know what you think about those two ideas. Something else that was brought up was uh, the intro and the outro to my videos. You guys feel like I should shorten the shorten the intro? Um, I'm trying it on this video. Let me know if it went a little bit better. I shortened it up a little bit. So let me know what you think about that. And I think on this one, I'm just going to cut out the uh, the outro altogether. I'm starting to think it's a little bit unnecessary. Um, I don't want to be one of those guys that always begs for likes and favorites and comments and all that stuff. Um, I like to think that all my viewers out there, you know, you guys, probably most of you, if not all of you, love this sport and you want to see it grow. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, like the video if you love disc golf. So, you know, if you like the videos, like them. It, it, I don't need to remind you guys, we're all smart enough and we all love the, the sport enough. <laughs> So I'm just gonna I'm gonna take out the outro altogether. If somebody misses it, let me know. I'll just email it to you. Um, another thing that a lot of people have been asking about is for me to do an in the bag video. And the only reason I haven't put out an in the bag video yet is because my bag is full of discs that I don't normally throw. Uh, it's all kinds of stuff that I take to the course every time I'm out there to throw it and get a feel for it. Stuff like the ibex and the obex. I'm keeping them in my, in my bag right now just because. I throw them every chance I get just because I want to get a feel for them. Um, don't get me wrong, those those throws aren't what make up my whole review. Uh, I'm playing, I make a day of just taking the one disc out like the Obex before I do the review on it. I'm going to have a day where all I do is go to the course, play a couple rounds with it, go to a field, 
throw it all over the place. So uh, don't worry about that. It's not just a few throws here and there, and then I give you some willy-nilly review about it. But uh, that's why I haven't done it in the bag yet. I probably will really soon because I want to get one out there so that I can do another one in a couple months and just do an update about it. But uh, it's not ready just yet, but I will do an in-the-bag video very soon. So that's a, a few updates about the channel that some things are going to change. Please let me know your feedback on this, guys. Um, I need to know if this is the kind of changes you guys want to see to the channel. And, uh, and I need to know anything else that you think could improve. Just the overall feel of the videos and, you know, how things roll, if things could be made, made easier, or other things you want to see in general. So let me know, guys. That's a big thing about this channel is I want it to be, you know, almost interactive. To where if I'm doing something and it's just freaking dumb, let me know. Big John, that's wrong. Throw it away. Scrap it. Try something different. That was a bad idea. Or, hey, that's a great idea. I'm behind you 100%. Keep on doing it. Good stuff. Please don't stop feedback guys, I need the feedback, it's only going to make it better for you guys and anybody else that might come across it. And right before I close out this video, I just want to mention the current contest that's going on is for the Vibram Obex, for this guy right here, the one that Steven Dodge from Vibram just sent me. There are a lot of entries into this right now. When you go to Go Ham Disc Golf on Facebook and you leave the comment on that one status, the status is uh, what's, what, what is your home course? When you leave that comment and you tell me what your home course is, make sure that you tell me what your YouTube username is. Because if I draw you and you don't tell me what your YouTube username is, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to get a hold of you. I do all my any anytime I contact a viewer or somebody that wins a contest, it will be over YouTube. I'm not gonna contact you on Facebook, I'm not gonna contact you on Twitter, nothing like that. All the giveaways I'll contact you directly on YouTube. Um, that's not to say I'm not going to talk to you guys all over the place on Twitter and Facebook, but for contests, it's going to be only YouTube um, messages, all right? And last thing is, uh, don't forget, guys, the Innova competition bag. We can, we're giving that away on November 1st, and we're at 169 subscribers right now. So if we get to 200, like I'm saying over and over and over again, tell your friends, I'll give away the back saver straps too, all right? So I'll see you guys next time. Please don't forget to tell me what you think. Are these updates good? Are these changes good? What else do you want to see? And I will see you guys later. Don't forget to go ham.